Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and I'm going to show you how I made this whimsical desktop barber pole. Alex pulled a motor and gearbox assembly out of a printer, and that was the basis for this design. I 3D printed a shaft adapter and slipped it on like so. Here it is in pink. The large red part serves as the foundation for all the guts. It holds the striped pole, the clear cover, and the LEDs that light the inside. The 5mm white LEDs were placed in these six holes. There are six because I wanted constant light, and this way, as the pole's support spokes pass over the LEDs, they cover and reveal the lights at a constant rate so that an overall level of light remains constant. Here you can see how there are always three whole LEDs exposed at any time. As one begins to get covered, a proportional amount of the next one is revealed. The striped pole is a spray-painted clear plastic shipping tube from a lathe gouge, and the outer cover is a larger unpainted version of the same thing. The sign and supports are laser cut quarter inch birch, and the top cap is a silver 3D print. The underside of the top cap is tapered outward to auto center the striped pole because there is no bearing or support at the top. Three standoffs were printed to support the motor, which screwed into a printed flat plate. The red ring was then screwed to the underside of my base box, and that's it for the mechanism. Here's the cap and sign support up close. A latching push button is used to turn the lights and motor on and off, and it's capped off with a 3D button. The base is made from 3 8 Baltic birch and miter cut so that the sides slope 5 degrees. The final touch is a battery pack with 4 AA's underneath to power it. This is why I never throw anything away. It's amazing what you can do with scraps. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.